Good everyone, this is Andrew Price here for another Blender Guru tutorial. In this video, you'll learn a simple trick to add realistic dust to any model, which will help add that extra level of realism to your renders. To demonstrate this technique, I'll be using this free model, which you can download using the link below. To start with, we need to create a mask that controls what parts of the surface have dust on them. Now, generally dust collects on the top of objects. So to make this work in Blender, we're going to add a geometry node and take the normal output and plug that into the bottom of a mix node. Then set the factor value to one and enable clamp. This simply gets rid of the negative values, which could break the math in the next step. Now the trick, add a separate RGB node. And notice how the blue channel isolates the parts of the mesh that are facing upwards. This is the key to making the dust appear only on the top. We can take the realism even further by making sure the dust looks more noticeable when viewed at from a low angle, which is how it looks in the real world. To create this low angle emphasis, we're going to add a layer weight node and take the facing output and mix it with the upward normal. Now the dust will look more noticeable when looking down its face. Finally, let's soften that edge by adding a gamma node and setting it to 2.2. And this is basically our final mask. We can now use it with a mix shader to mix between a clean material and a dirty dust material. So that the dirty material only shows through where there should be dust. To make the dust look more realistic, you can use a noise texture or you can click the link underneath this video to download a special image dust texture, which will make it look even more realistic. Then you just plug that into the mix node and set it to overlay mode. Then you can use a math node on multiply to increase or decrease the overall visibility of the dust. And that's it, a realistic dust effect that can be added to any model to make it look more realistic. If you found this tip useful, please press like. And to see more helpful Blender tricks like this one, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.